Hello, my friends of Hatari Labs. My name is Sol Montoya. Welcome to this tutorial. This tutorial will be a um, basic example of groundwater modeling in ModFlow 6 and visualization with ParaView and FlowPy. So here, as you know, ModFlow 6 is the new version of ModFlow and it's available free to download from the USGS, USGA website. Uh, here we have done a variation of um, of a mod of an example that it was on the documentation. We did this variation with the purpose of of um, of trying to to work around to play around with the with Modflow six and to see how this software is working and how it's different from uh, from the last versions. Okay, so our plan is to make uh, more tutorials. So this is just the first tutorial and we will bring more tutorials on Modflow 6. Okay, so we you will receive these files. You will receive um, a folder that actually I, I recommend you that it, you store this in documents. Okay, and this you will have the bin file that is actually Modflow 6X. The model file uh the model that is actually the model that we have created based on the on the twri example on the documentation we have you won't receive this because this is just working file you will have the scripts and the scripts is yeah is um actually it's not required that you know python in order to to understand this tutorial but if you are if you are capable of you will find this and this useful okay and here you have a empty folder but this actually where the vtk files of the different features and result from them from the from the model will be stored okay so let's see the model first on the model here we have uh, a bad file that is actually is it points to the to where the modflow 6 executable is okay cool what else do we have here okay let's the description is actually say that it's come from the theory from the example on the modflow documentation and let's see let's start with the num file num file on the num file, we see that the model actually has the this, that is the discretization package, the initial condition package, the constant head, the npf is, uh, is the one that actually stores the, is the one that actually stores the, the conductivity and the layer type, okay? Well, package is actually the is uh, is the folder that um, that configures the the wells on the model. These are the drain package, the recharge package, and the output control. Okay, so these are the main um, model. However, in the NAM file and then you have the MFC NAM file. Okay, so if you see the RAM file, actually what you run is actually what you run is I think I mean the the documentation from Modflow 6 is is a little bit long so I have read some parts okay but I think that we'll run these ones. Yep, I think, yep. Because this is, okay, you have to read the documentation, but you have the model, but this is the groundwater model, but Modflow 6 actually allows you to interact with other models, yeah, and create this kind of exchange. If you see here, you have exchange. So you actually, like water that comes out of the model can go somewhere else, okay? Okay, so then you have the NAM file that is the one that rules of the file. And then you have the SIM file that is the one that 
that manage all the NAND files. Okay, okay, cool. Don't worry about this. Is a basic example, so I don't want you to to get uh, um, to get lost with this documentation. But actually, just remember that you have the NAND file and the FM sim and the simulation NAND file. Okay, so in the simulation NAND file, actually, is the ones that is that runs with the discretization, the time discretization. It requires the NAND file. It has no exchange. And it also requires the EMS, that is a file that is related to the parameters of, to the solver parameters. OK, great. So let's see. First, yeah, OK, so let's go to discretization. Discretization, this is discretization. On this criticization, this is a four layer model with 30 rows and 24 columns. Yeah, um, the, the spaces along rows, that is, there are, this is, one of these is spaces along rows and spaces along columns. However, the, the, there is a regular grid of 50 meters. Okay, cool. Then you have the top the top, um, the model top, uh, I mean, surface is 220 meters. And then the bottom of the first layer is 190. Then the, the bottom of the second layer, 160. The bottom of the third layer, 120. And the bottom of the fourth layer, just 90. OK, so as you have seen, there is a model that is around 130 meters thick. Yeah, and it has 50. Uh, 30 rows by 24 columns, uh, where each cell has 50, is 50 meters thick. So actually the dimension of our model is 30 times, is 1, 1.5 kilometers times 1.2 kilometers. Okay, cool. Okay, great. So then what else? Okay. This is the same. Then the CHD file, we have a, a file. Yep. Uh, then you have a constant head on the, on the right side of the model that is actually 205 meters. OK. Then what else do you have? I mean, I have here the visualization of Paraview, but I don't want to, to show you this right now because actually I want that you get the whole, the whole description of the files and then you see the visualization, okay? Then you have the drains and you have the drains that are located in, this is layer, column, row, and this is the elevation of the drain and the conductance of the drain. Okay, then we have the initial conditions that is the starting heads is 210 because it's actually the it's a value that is located on the first row. Okay, the EMS are parameters related to the to the these parameters are related to the uh, solver. So it's for the solution of the matrix. Okay. Cool. And this is the list file. The list file is actually a file that created after the simulation. So actually, I don't need it. OK. And then I, here I have the NAND file. The NAND file we have already so that, the MPF file. OK, we are going to have the I cell is something related to the layer conditions, where constant one means that this, uh, my understanding, that is a uh, free aquifer, phreatic aquifer, where constant zero means that it's confined. This is what I have to understand from the documentation. Okay. On the K layer, we have that K on the different, K on the different layers is, on the horizontal is uh, in the order of 1, 10 to the minus 4, while in the vertical is 10 to the minus 5. Okay, great. On the output control, we store the the we store the heads and the budget as well. Okay. Then we have the recharge. 
the recharge is 9 to, 9 to 10 to the minus 8 meters per second. Actually, if you go deep, you will see that this is a dimension. I mean, you have one unit for length, and then you have one unit for time. But actually, the model do not care if you are, I mean, if you are not dealing with meters or feet, as long as all your dimension will be in meters, as long as all dimension will be in feet. Okay, in temporal discretization, it's in a steady state, but it's in a steady state, but it would last a day. Okay, this is the file that actually has the, this file has the location of the wells, and each well is pumping five liters per second, but in this is cubic meters per second. Okay. Pool. This is the list that is a, this is actually an output from the simulation. Okay, so I will delete. Okay, great. So if I do click here, actually we run mod flow, we, do, we run mod flow. So if I do click here, it will appear this beautiful black window that is actually says, okay, you have run it and it's okay. Okay, so you have run MF sim list. Look, this one is the one that you have now run. Okay, you s no, you have run the MF sim num. Okay, that is actually runs the other num. Okay, so if you see, we have more here. We have the CBB, the GRB, the HDS. This one that stores the heads and the two LST, one from the NAM and one from the simulation. Okay, cool, that's great. So let's see the results because actually, um, Jupyter Notebook that you will receive there on the description of the video, you will receive a beautiful Jupyter Notebook that is actually, this is the compiled version of a lot of functions that I have created in order to show to have a full 3D representation of what is, um, or what is it, um, a model. Okay, so here we see, uh, we open the files, we create empty documents, we we read a lot of, of we read and create a lot of arrays from our model. Yeah, we read the boundary conditions, we read the Excel heads. Uh, and we we store some list on cell data and as well we create some tetraedrons and hexaedrons okay and then we create a vtk and we create a vtk for the heads for the water table from the drain from the chd from the constant head and the well. Actually, you can create, if you deal with Python, you can create VTKs for other, for example, for a charge. That is something that I have not done in this tutorial. And the, the script actually will read this model folder and will write the VTKs here. So if I kernel and I say restart and run all, pull. Look here, it will run. What happened here? Okay, sorry. I just want this to look pretty. Okay, cool. So actually it has run the 14 cells. And here on the VTU files, because it's the VTK for an extracted grid, we have here all the all the we have here all the VTU files for the constant head, drains, heads, the water table, and the wells. Okay, cool. So with these VTU files, we can actually store them on the we can see them on on Paraview. So we start Paraview. That is okay. So here we have Paraview. Okay, and I will open the head file, the constant head file 
here and then I see this is my constant head file that is actually located in two in two layers okay I can open my drain file okay great and then I can open my wells look here these are the wells and then I can open the heads and this is where it starts to be interesting okay cool here are the heads but the heads I can represent it by vertex head cool or by cell heads it's up to you and however you can actually create these contours because actually you can see the equipotential lines okay Cool. and this is something amazing I mean here we see the impact on the drains and the and the wells I mean how do those impact in 3d I mean not not exactly in 2d but we see this in 3d and we can play around and we can see the impact of different wells in different layers okay so and and then we can see as well the water table because we have another BTK for the water table. Okay, cool. And this is here. Look, and then if you see, this is. Cool. So if you see here, you can see a fully and optimized computer. <laughs> computer representation of your model yeah where you see the drain you see the constant head you see the wells and as well you see the pumping the pumping the pumping you see as well the pumping wells in different layers okay and then you can do cross section as well yep Okay, and the purpose of doing this with um, with Modflow 6 is, and the visualization is that actually you get in touch with the, um, uh, that actually you get in touch with the, um, with the software, yeah, that you start to think about working with these folder files because actually the visualization the pre-visualization i mean the commercial software that runs along modflow because actually modflow is always free is they they do and they try to make you the work the work that you do a little bit more uh, uh, more easy but it's not such a big deal if you think further in how to how to insert and how to work with the models on based on this working with directories it's a little, it's not so easy but um i think that you get a better um, you get a better approach on how the model works and what you can do with the model if you work with the directories okay so my name is uh, Saul Motoya we are Hatari Labs what is Hatari Labs Atari Labs is a blog um, dedicated to knowledge sharing in open source in open source software. Uh, basically, we deal with modeling, uh, GIS, and programming. We have a blog where we have a lot of tutorials, very specific tutorials, and as well we have a Facebook account and a Twitter account, and you can subscribe to our newsletter. Okay, so I hope that you follow us. We will provide you more interesting things as long as we can do. And hope to see you in coming tutorials. And if you like this video, please subscribe to this video and share it with your friends. Okay, and give it a like to the video as well. Well, my name is Ormontoy. Please have a great day. See you in coming tutorials. Bye.